Hi, this is Prak with IRPMD. Today I'm going to show you guys how to change a, how to replace a bad charging port on a Galaxy S3 or any smartphone that needs a charging port replacement. Okay? And what I have here is a Galaxy S3 and what you're going to need is new charging port and I have here roller charging ports this one is for the Galaxy S3 and I do sell these port if you want one uh, it's about two dollars online on my eBay store and this is the one for the Galaxy S3 and what you'll need for this repair is a screwdriver a Phillips head screwdriver Okay, and screw tray. Use this for all my screw parts here. Okay, so what we need to do is actually take the logic board out. And the Galaxy S3 is a very simple phone. Galaxy S4 is the same. All simple. Most Samsung phones are fairly simple to take apart. The battery is easy to remove, unlike the iPhone. The components are all basic. Okay, and for this repair, you will need a hot air gun capable of going to 480 Fahrenheit, enough to melt solder. And you will need a Krypton tape, and that is a heat, a thermal shield, so you can actually tape around the logic board to prevent all the SMDs on the surface from coming off while you're taking it apart and I will be switching over from the regular view to a microscope view so you can actually see close up of the job being done okay okay so now you are taking off the last battery I mean the last screw that holds the back panel up the back panel is divided into two parts the main part right here and also the speaker part so these are all clips just go ahead and just just pick this up okay put it aside this is a speaker unit here and let's go ahead and just move the speaker off okay put that away now there's a this one black screw right here. So go ahead and take that off. Okay. So what you need to do is disable the Wi-Fi. All we really need to work with is the board. So LCD, Ford camera, and volume. Not volume. This is the um, Proximity sensor, a power power cable, a power button cable. Let's go ahead and pull this off. Okay. So what we have now is the logic board. Okay. And this is the port that we're going to be changing on Galaxy S3. All right. So what we're going to do is put Krypton tape. This is a roll of Krypton tape right here, and this is a heat shield to protect the board. And go ahead and divide using a razor blade here. I always use a razor, that's my trademark. And we're blocking out areas that we don't want to be burdened by 
the heat. It's very important right here is the microphone. That is the microphone for a call, so you don't want to lose it. And then we want to protect the side of the board right here. Okay, now we're going to switch over to my heat gun. Okay, for the next step is the heat gun desoldering process and what I use is the Xtronic 5000 series. I'm going to heat it up to 480 degrees and then I'm going to go ahead as you can see I block everything else out. Alright so my heat gun is there and so what I want to do is just concentrate the heat onto this area so I can remove the bad charging port without ruining the solder point. So now that I have the heat shield there, I'm going to go ahead and concentrate the heat to loosen the solder or to actually to liquefy the solder. It might take a little bit. And what it, this is doing is concentrating the heat, creating a heat climate just for the charging port area. But, and it will allow me to loosen up the solder. As you can see, the solder is coming off. Slowly coming off. And now concentrating it over here so I don't strip the, the uh, circuit point. And now you just go ahead and loosen it off. And you can see all the circuit points are in good shape. You can see all the points are there. What I have, or what I use, is a Chip Quick. I got this from Amazon. It's a lead free soldering material, it's a paste that actually does the soldering. And earlier, and what you have here is a charging port. So this is the charging port right here. And so what I need to do is actually go ahead and antenna it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and actually put a tiny bit, reverse this over, and a tiny bit of solder right here. I'm going to put it right on top of the microscope so you can see. So you can see the tin on it. So I'm going to go ahead and actually tin this. Using okay, and this is my solder material, uh, my solder station. I use a Radio Shack station right here with a tip. So I'm looking into my microscope, and you can look at my microscope here. This is my AM scope, and it's 20 times zoom. I use it to to for me to get binocular vision, so I can do the actual soldering. So I'm going to go ahead and look inside the microscope, and. Go ahead and do the tip solder. So I'm tending it. Or oh, some people call it chroming. Okay, now you got all the surface charged with tin. What you're gonna need to do now is go ahead and actually clean off access tin with a little alcohol. And I use my 99% alcohol. So, you can see here, you have some tin still in there. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and remove the excess, and I'll clean off the area also. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and actually align this in here the port and I'm going to go ahead and with my microscope start doing the solder. The first thing I do though is make sure that I'm soldering the anchor points first before I do anything. So now I'm adding a little 
weight on here and I'm going to go ahead and solder the anchor points for us. In this case, what I need to do is put a little more of the solder paste in the anchor point to get it started. Bury the anchor point in. Okay, keep it down there. Now I go to the second half in the back. That anchor point there. Put a little wick also. A little solder paste. And I'll go ahead. And also make sure this is flush to the board. Okay. I'll do the other side the same way. So what I have to do now is actually flip this over. I'm going to flip the board over. And what I'm trying to do is get all the anchor points the charging port anchor to be aligned with the board. Alright, now that I have that done, I can actually go ahead and start doing the solder. Closer. Zoom in a little closer so you can see what I'm doing here. With my microscope. So what we need to do is actually go ahead and touch every solder point. With the other. Okay. I'm gonna clean my tip real quick. Use this brass tip cleaner here. Clean my tip. So we can go ahead and all right. So what we're trying to do is crown this. Go ahead and actually sink this a little further down. I'll go ahead and use a hot gun again. Okay, I'm going to flip this over. What I want to try to do is push this a little deeper in. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm going to use my heat gun one more time here. I'm going to actually push this in because this anchor needs to be in correctly. Get this to work. Concentrating the heat. Alright, so anchor point is down now. Alright, let me go ahead and put this away. I'm going to 
use this to hold it down real quick at the solder bind. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you reposition the microscope again. All right. Actually, go ahead and inspect this. All right, so now we'll angle this so you can actually see, you guys can see it too. I'm using two microscope here to do the soldering. Uh, using my webcam here to with the microscope adapter for you to actually get a close look, and I'm using my own bifocal microscope to do the major inspection. And I'm using my tip, solder tip here to make sure everything is touching. All the charging port are touching here. Doing a final inspection. Okay. Things look great. So what I'm gonna do now is with alcohol, 99% alcohol and a paint brush, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the solder to make sure the charger has no bridge. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out, see if it charges. Let's go ahead and put the logic board back in here. Okay, go ahead and test this out. I'm going to put the Wi Fi antenna connector back in. Go ahead and put the power button flex in, front camera, all right, and then let's go ahead and put the speaker back, and go ahead and put all these panels. Before we put the screw in, let's go ahead and test the system, make sure it works. So go ahead and plug it in. And if every solder point meets, we should have a successful repair. Let's go ahead and put the charging port in there. And go check the status of the battery. As you can see, it's charging. So we have a success. Let's go ahead and power this up. Okay, you can see the status is charging, so we'll go ahead and put it back together. Okay, this is Prack with IRPMD, safe repair.